Let me say before I rise in support of this particular piece of legislation that if we want to have a debate on global warming, let the record show that the uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the United States is at its lowest level since 1995. And that's without cap and trade. That's without command and control. Uh, it's based on the ingenuity of the American people and the market at work here in the United States. Keystone Pipeline would simply make it possible to take oil from Canada, transport it down to the Gulf Coast of the United States to be refined into uh, products that would either be sold in the United States or in some cases perhaps exported overseas. It would create tens of jobs in the construction phase, maintain and probably increase the number of jobs in our refinery and petrochemical complex uh, on the Gulf Coast of the United States. It's a good piece of legislation. Uh, only in America would this be controversial. It's a win for the Canadians. It's a win for the consumers in America. And it's a win for the workers of America that would, uh, would be able to do the construction and also work in the refineries and, and those, those particular industries. So I would rise in strong support and hope that we support Mr. Terry's bill and send it to the other body. General